what are the top three qualities you look for when you are looking, Chris? <laughs> so if a guy's trying to get on your radar, what what should he what three qualities should he be working on? I want somebody that is close with his family and close with his friends. Cool. Um I want somebody that um has a good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Um, and somebody that can dance, somebody that can nice. not, not just dancing. I want somebody that can partner dance and knows how to lead with the slightest touch. Nice. I wow. know that might be kind of a steep order. That last one but, might be, but Hey, you just go to South America and those guys yeah. know how to lead. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that, that salsa dancing and, and all the other styles. Those, yeah, that's hard stuff, but, um, yeah, I, I get what you mean. That's awesome. I, I wish I could do that very well. I, I can't. But, um, but yeah, it is an art form. And, and man, yeah, South America. And, and it, goes, it goes back to having that understanding of your own body and that mm. connection with who you are to be able to help guide somebody else in that manner. Yeah, yeah. Because no, it's, it's, it's a very vulnerable thing when you're dancing with somebody. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful art form. Look, and that's something that can be worked on. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's a great. I think it's a great skill to work on, especially as a guy to lead in this beautiful way in this vulnerable art form of dancing so closely together. And and there's a release, and the like the lady really um, kind of opens up and and allows you to lead her in this dance, especially with those, when I'm thinking about like, um, uh, in particular, like the South American dancers, um, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that did like salsa, you know, so. um, Yeah. And once, once you build that connection, there is so much trust because if the guy doesn't know what he's doing, he can really injure the girl and vice versa. Yeah. Um, But because the guy is supposed to be the leader, he's the one that's supposed to be initiating all the moves if he doesn't in- initiate it properly and the girl thinks she knows what she, what is supposed to happen next and they are, their, their wires are crossed. Something bad can happen, especially when you get into the more intricate styles where you're yeah. doing tricks or, um, really difficult, uh, footwork or arm work. Mm. Um, and I think that dancing is a really good metaphor for relationships just in general. There's yeah. a push and a pull and yeah. um time. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I was I was about to say that actually. Yeah, it's a good metaphor for life and for relationships. Yeah. It is a push and a pull and, and with that dancing, it's like a slight touch of hand. Just the it's sometimes it's just a subtle thing and but you're leading. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't have to be aggressive and strong either. Um <laughs> but and you're clear. When in dance the aggressive and strong is not that's bad like you want the subtle you want the mm. smooth and soft and yeah that's when it looks beautiful um, when you're watching and yeah it's, well, it looks like seamless and like um like yeah they're like one person almost you know what i mean yeah um, yeah yeah great love that so um good with his, close with his family uh sense of humor and knows how to lead in dancing which you th- you maybe believe will like hopefully hopefully anyway uh I kind of leak out into other areas of his life as well as a leader. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Love that.